restoration. It's probably looking a bit small up there again tonight. Unfortunately, the pecker point is not full. So there's not a lot I can do here now. Can't really get the sill on because I need to get the jacking point. So this point here, I can't put the chassis rail on because I need to get the jacking point underneath that. So the only thing I can do really is start to prepare this rear wheel arch get this ready to go in. So I've got this clamped on now. Um, I've marked up a few lines on the panel and on the car. So I'll show you around here now what I'm doing to make this fit. Right, so as you can see here guys, what I'm doing basically is I've got the panel into a rough position. This is where the sill will finish. So obviously the rear arch needs to be level with this point here. Same again on that point there. This section that was in here was an absolute mile out. So I've had to cut this out just to get the rough height of this new panel. So that's in there pretty pretty much banged on. And then what I've done is I've marked the swage line on the car. And your repair panel also comes with a swage line in it. So I've marked the swage line on the panel. Same again on this side and then the swage line on the car. I'll now remove this repair panel. Continue this line on because we're going to cut majority of this off so we're going to lose a lot of this line so i'll continue this down here when i put this panel back on it'll give me correct location for this panel to be laid into so we'll start chopping What I'm doing there guys is I'm just measuring the largest distance on these cuts. That's the widest I'm gonna to have to go, which is six centimeters. So I'll now measure six centimeters onto the new panel. I'll then chop that new panel all the way around six centimeters, lay it back on the car, scribe all the way around it, and then trim back the car very slightly to suit our cuts on the panel. So as you can see there now guys, got the line marked up all the way around this panel, so that's going to be our cut line. These are the marks I put on for the swage line, both sides. As I was saying, I followed these lines on, on the swage line of the rear panel. So when we've cut this to size, we'll have some dates and points to make sure the orientation of that 
arch is correct because what we don't want is it to be too high up on this side or too high up on that side or too far over either side of the panel we want a continuous nice even gap all the way around this panel and the correct height on both the top sections so we'll get this panel cut now back in them all right so we've got our wheel arch repair panel trimmed to somewhat of a reasonable size now I'm not gonna lie as you probably already noticed there is another one here this is the one I measured earlier and I did cock up I actually measured that too short and I don't know how I did it but I suppose the good old rule stands of measure twice and cut once rushing a little bit there so we do make mistakes this is what the channel is all about showing the things and the problems you're going to come across while doing these cars luckily I do have a couple of these in stock so I do have a spare that may be coming useful for another car another day still a fair bit of panel there to be used but yeah we messed up on that one so as you can see the lines are marked earlier as I was saying this now gives me my correct position for this arch to sit so I know that's in somewhat of a reasonable position so what I'll do now I'll scribe around here I'll draw around here all the way around and then I will just trim this rear quarter back ever so slightly to suit the panel now so we're happy with that that's in a good position reasonable size let's get to cutting So we've got our wheel arch repair panel all sized up and now tacked into position there's plenty of tacks on there as you can see them lines we put in earlier the reason we did that to, to make sure it's in the correct orientation just helps out when you're laying this panel back in to start tacking it that's as tight as i could possibly get it pretty tight all the way around there now the trick with this is you can't just go at this and start seam welding it and going all the way around with your welder because again you're just going to warp the living hell out of all of this so it's a case of just keep tacking it nice and slowly work little sections at a time bit there bit here bit there bit there bit there just keep coming around to different sections so you're moving that heat around the panel rather than just putting some extreme heat in one section because again that's just going to kill this panel um all these sections will be cut out obviously this will become part of the sill the sill will come to you, so the sill will replace this lower section of the arch, so this bit isn't actually needed. Obviously the sill goes all the way across here, so all that will be replaced as part of the sill cover. This section here again, this will be replaced with a lower rear quarter section all the way around here. And we'll also put some pieces in here. This is at a previous repair, which is not very good, so we'll cut this out and we'll lay a nice piece in there. So yeah, 
that's pretty much it again for tonight so it's only another small update but as i said before this isn't a full-time job for, for us this is simply a hobby and i hope we can help you some of you guys along the way doing this kind of job at home i'd love to do this full-time at some point but unfortunately it doesn't pay the bills at the moment so we've still got to work full-time on top of doing this so we'll get back on it tomorrow and i'll update you again and that's it for tonight. See you again next time.